Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Throwdown on the December 19th, 2020 edition. I'm Caleb Black. This is Luke the Big Dog Williams, our in-studio producer, the mighty Max Fury. And it's time for the pay-per-view pre-show review. TLC, guys, you know the rules. It's a WWE pay-per-view. We're calling the matches. We're taking points. Winner with the most points up to WrestleMania gets to choose an embarrassment for the loser. If Max calls more pay-per-views than us, he gets a point that he has to give away. Otherwise, we keep them stored up till Mania. That's when we pick the winner. We're going to get right into it. Also, the last one of the year. Yep, last one of the year, last one of 2020. We stand tied 11 to 11 with Max still having two points to give away. Let's start it up. The New Day defends the Raw Tag Team titles against the Hurt Business. Max, who's your pick? I got to go with the New Day on this one. And normally, I think I'd go with the Hurt Business because of size and everything, but I don't see them as being title holders as far as tag team. We've talked before about guys, you know, uh, as far as the heavyweight title, being guys that better at chasing yeah, the yeah, title. Yeah, for sure. And I, I, I see them, you know, more more, more like that, more of a, a wall for people to break and get over. The, than, than being the title championship. Yeah, gotcha. for sure. Luke, who's your pick? New Day of the Hurt uh, I'm going the New Day only for the reason being, I don't think in December... It's the right time to take the titles off the champs. I think it's more of a WrestleMania thing to do. Of course, I've been uh, it's happened before. It's not yeah. that it hasn't happened. Go on the new day. I'm going to pick the Hurt Business. I'm the odd man out. I think that uh, going into 2021, <laughs> it's time to have a fresh set of champions. It'll be a new look for the new year. And I think the Hurt Business, again, we talked about how Bobby Lashley's been U.S. champ. Let's get some more belts in there. Let's give MVP the reason to be like, hey, come join the Hurt Business. You're going to be successful. Tag Team Champions, Hurt Business, I'm calling it. Sasha Banks defends the SmackDown Women's Championship against Carmella. Max, who's your pick? I gotta go with Sasha Banks. Uh, I just, I, she's on a roll. I don't care for Carmella a whole lot. I, I think Sasha's gonna going to take it. All right. I am I too am uh, going to go with Sasha Banks. I think she's been the top of the women's division in the absence of uh, wrestlers like Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte Flair. Uh, I don't see Carmella being the one to beat her, so my, I'm holding out Sasha Banks. Luke, who's your pick? I'm going the other uh, route for that. I'm going to go Carmella. I think that putting the title on Carmella right now due to the Royal Rumble coming up and the Royal Rumble not having as much fanfare, I don't think that it can go... Uh, it can... How do, I put, how, do I, how do I explain it? That it she no. drops the belt, and Bailey can eliminate her. At the or, or or she can eliminate Bailey, Bailey, but I think with the lack of star power, yeah, I don't think that it can afford not to have Sasha Banks in the Royal Rumble. I'm going Carmella. All right, for the women's tag team titles, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax will defend against Oscar and a mystery tag team partner. Now, with the absence of Lana, Max, who are you going with? Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, or Oscar and her partner to be determined. I'm going to go officially. I'm going to go with Asuka and her mystery partner. Okay. But I I believe that Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax will retain the titles. Okay. So, but the official winner of the match is going to be Asuka and her partner. Yes. Okay. Luke, who you got? Uh, I'm going to go Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax for the plain and simple fact. I think that they can build to eliminating one or another in the Women's Royal Rumble, building towards a feud for Mania. I'm going to go the exact same way for the exact same reason, not to mention... Uh, depending on who the partner is, you know, it could be a returning Charlotte, could it be a returning Becky Lynch even. You're not going to put them in the tag team no. title scene coming in. You're gonna I'm going to guess your best bet's probably going to be Dana Brooke. Or a or returning uh, Kyrie Sane. Yeah. Maybe, uh, e maybe even uh, Sonya Deville. We don't know. Could be Sonya Deville, days. could yeah. be Marie, could be anybody. So I'm going with Shayna and Nia. For the SmackDown Universal Championship, Roman Reigns defends against Kevin Owens. Max, who's your pick? I go with Roman Reigns. KO is just, he's just not the guy. Not the guy, not the right uh, time for KO. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to go with Roman for the exact same reason. I completely agree. Uh, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns. Kevin Owens is obviously nothing but fodder for uh, for Roman Reigns. Yeah. Um, They're going to have a damn good match. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, if, if it was a pinfall or something like that, I could maybe see Kevin Owens winning, but because they have to climb up, grab the, yeah, the Usos, the fights, too, the chairs, too, yeah. many, too many knives in the kitchen. I totally agree with that. Uh, for the Raw World Heavyweight Championship, Drew McIntyre defends against AJ Styles at TLC. Max, who's your pick? I gotta go with Drew McIntyre. I just, I don't... There again, I don't see... AJ Styles being the guy to beat Drew McIntyre. Yeah, neither do I. I think I, I'm going to go with Drew for the same reason. Uh, I'm going to go for a two-pointer. Okay. I'm going to say that uh, if, if it appeases the court, I'm going to say Drew McIntyre wins the TLC match. Okay. 
Miz cashes in, Miz wins the championship. So you're predicting that the Miz will cash in and take the belt off of Drew. Yes. So hold on, let's add a caveat to that. If he cashes in and loses, it doesn't count. You're calling in that he cashes in and, and wins. And wins, yes. Okay, so it's I not just a cash in. And lose. Yeah, I think he'll cash in well, and win. Well, if you want to put a side bet on it as well for a point, you can say he cashes in, but he loses. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm good with that. point up for grab for you. Now, here's the deal. Here's what we'll do, okay? Since the two of you are getting an opportunity to get an extra point, I think that if it doesn't happen at all, and it ends definitively with Drew and AJ, I should get a point. Okay. Because I'm yeah, not, I don't sure. have the side bet to so make the opportunity. Good point. Yep. Okay, so if Miz wins, you get an extra point. If Miz cashes in and loses, you get an extra point. If he doesn't cash in at all, I get an extra point. As long as Drew wins. As long as Drew wins, yes. yes. As long as Drew McIntyre wins the match. Yes. Because I lose the point anyway yeah. if he... If he uh, yeah, only if Drew wins. Yeah, because we're all going for Drew. Yes. So, I mean, you know, that would be the only way, I think, would be if Drew wins. Yeah, one second, I'll write this out. Um, also, uh, I think the reason... Being is because I think that Drew could win the title back at the Rumble and no one would be the wiser. Right. That's fair. It's a way to get the money in the bank off of the Miz. Now let's talk about the match that we're going to be the most interested of. The Fiend versus Randy Orton in a Firefly Inferno match at TLC tomorrow night. Max, who's your pick and why? we got plenty of time this time, so go for it. <laughs> I got to go with, with, with my man. i got to go with Randy Orton. Okay. Uh, I just... I, I think and it's, it's going to go either way. And I think there there's a higher probability of The Fiend probably winning. Yeah. But I got I, uh, I to go with, with Orton on this. I would have been really surprised if this had been the one match yeah. you didn't pick right. Right. to win. Uh, it would be the one <laughs> match that he did win. It, it, it can go either way. It's going right. to go either way. And I know Luke's got a lot to say about it, too. So I'll, I'll let him. He's going to cover most of what's on my yep. mind. So. Okay. Well, go ahead and take your pick. Uh, right. I'm going to pick The Fiend. And here's why. This is the return match from their match at WrestleMania when Randy Orton defeated uh, Bray Wyatt and set the cabin on fire, destroying Sister Abigail. Boy, what a weird thing to say about a wrestling match. I know, right? Uh, but for that reason, I think to keep the story going, The Fiend has to defeat Randy Orton. Otherwise, Orton's beaten The Fiend twice, and he doesn't have anything else going on with him. Uh, Orton can always come back for revenge, and I imagine The Fiend could too, but after two big losses and two separate, the only two times they've ever wrestled in singles matches, why would they go back to that well? So for that reason alone, my pick is The Fiend. Uh, I'm going to go, honestly, I can't see Randy Orton being set on fire. Yeah, uh, I can see The Fiend being set on fire because you set The Fiend on fire, he's a mythical creature, he can come back, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going with Randy Orton. However, uh, caveat here yes. is Honestly, I don't think there's going to be a legitimate finish. Right. Um, I think that we're going to get a schmoz ending kind of like the, the Braun Strowman. Match the and, and, or the which Cena. And, and, yeah. Uh, uh, which I call how, it and I want to make that. How weird is that that both of the Funhouse style matches that have happened so far involving Bray Wyatt hasn't had a real winner? Yeah. Well, see, and that's where I'm going with this. I didn't. Huh. I called it last time and then we kind of made the the idea. But my opinion is, honestly, if we... if if I don't see somebody on fire, that's not a definitive finish. Right. So, in my opinion, and I want to put this out in front of everybody and you guys as well, if there's not a definitive winner... Right. If someone isn't physically set on, on fire, fire in view... I don't think that... I, I think we all should get a point. It, yeah, it can't be The Fiend stuffing Randy into a box and setting no. it on fire. It can't be Randy Orton putting the locking The Fiend in a house and setting it on no. fire. I le we legitimately legit have to see someone, someone set on, on fire. fire. Okay, I agree with that. Because Max. that's what an infernal match's rules state. Max, you good with that? You good with that, Max? Yeah. So to be clear, uh, for for the viewers at home, I'm picking the fiend. You're picking Randy Orton. You're picking Randy Orton. If no, if the two guys don't actually get fully set on fire in some way to have a definitive infernal match winner, all three of us are taking home a point. Yes. From that match. Yes. All right. Well, I agree with that. I'm good with that. Let's do a quick recap for the people at home. New Day versus the Hurt Business. It's the two of you against me. Sasha versus Carmella. It's me and Max against Luke. We're all unanimous on Roman. We're all unanimous on Drew. Luke, you and I are picking Nia Jax. Uh, Max, you're going with Asuka and the mystery partner to win, but not the belts. I'm going with The Fiend. You two are going Randy Orton with a caveat point for the... Uh, Inferno match that someone has to be set on fire and for the Drew McIntyre match if The Miz, if 
Drew McIntyre wins and the Miz cashes in, Luke gets a point. If, if Drew, he wins. If, if, if Miz wins, yes. yes. If Drew wins and the Miz cashes in, Max gets a point. If Drew wins the match and there is no cash in, I get an extra point. Yes. Now, if the on. Miz loses, he gets a point. If the Miz wins, but I get But what point. if AJ wins and the Miz cashes in? I think you two should still get the point because it's a cash in. Because the Miz could come out and easily beat AJ too. I agree with that. I technically agree with that too. And because and, and because if Drew wins, I automatically get get the extra point. That'll give you two the opportunity because I think it would be bullshit if if the Miz won and then the Miz cash and you guys didn't get the point for the prediction. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. So opportunities for points all over the yep. place. I mean, it's the last one of two thousand twenty. By God, twenty twenty. Also. These are the only matches. If something's added to the last card, show of the year can't hold anything back now. <laughs> uh, we're not. We're not. If something's added tomorrow, we're not going to call it. No, we're only going with the matches we know about because it's the last show of the year, and we're also going on our holiday break. We reconvene live videos on the 9th of January, so you will get the results. Of them. You'll get the results, and uh, obviously, we'll keep you guys posted on our Facebook at facebookcom slash on. Make sure you go and like us. Follow us on Twitter at Pro Wrestling TD. Send us an email at ProWrestlingThrowdown at gmail.com. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. Leave us a comment down below. And don't forget, we return to Twitch on January 9th as well because that's our re-debut episode in the year of 2021. Stay tuned, guys. We have so much content coming to you throughout this next two weeks recording today. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Thank you so much for tuning in. Keep it in the ring.